How are we all doing and welcome back today to another League and Team of the Season player review. This time round, we are taking a look at Corentin Tolisso, 90 rated central midfielder. Incredibly, incredibly well rounded card. If you do enjoy today's review, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, subscribe if you're new, and let me know who you want me to see review next. Although I will say, this may be the last League and Team of the Season player that we look at, depending on what EA released tomorrow night. So, might be the last one, might not be so still. Let me know who you want to see me review down below. But we're going to kick off the Talisa review now with the basic information. He's standing at 5 foot and 11 inches tall. High to high work rates, 3 star skill moves and a 3 star weak foot. Looking at his base card and top 5 in game stats, like I've already mentioned, an incredibly, incredibly well-rounded central midfielder. He's 90 overall. 85 pace, 90 dribbling, 90 shooting, 91 passing, 93, 93 physical, and 88 defending. So five, sorry, four stats there over 90. One that's under is 88, and then his pace being 85, absolutely unreal. Top five in games, 99 jumping, 98 long passing, 98 reactions, 97 shot power, and 94 short passing. And only comes with one trait and speciality, surprisingly, and that is the power header. Looking at the team used to I me, mean, you've actually seen here, I've got him set up in a 4-3-3-4, just so I can get him at centre mid, but a more attacking centre mid to try and get the, the most out of him, basically. But I think if you're using him in a regular team, not reviewing him, I'd be using him as a right central midfielder, as the box-to-box -box player, which his stats suit absolutely perfectly. But, as a slightly more attacking option in this team, he came away with a very nice return. Nine goals and two assists. I could swear he got more than two assists and it hasn't counted them properly, but... Nine goals and two assists is what it's saying, and either way, that is still a fantastic, fantastic return. And as we start to roll the clips of Tilliso in action now, he is exactly what the stats look like he should be. He's an unbelievable central midfielder. I like I've already mentioned, box-to-box -box midfielder. I think this guy is absolutely perfect. There's only two flaws that I can pick with him, really, and those are being extremely, extremely harsh. And that are the skill moves. They are the skill moves, sorry, and the weak foot now. Skill moves as a box to box centre mid aren't essential, but by my own definition, I think if you're an attacking player, which Tilliso in my mind is, you've got to have four star skills. And also, his weak foot being three star, now that is a bit more important, I think, as a centre midfielder, you want to be able to pass on both feet. And to be honest, his left foot didn't feel too bad, but four star would be, you know, in an audio world, what it would be. But. Aside from that, lads, this guy is an absolute monster. He's an incredible, incredible carrier of the ball. He's got phenomenal strength. He's got great shot power and finishing as well when he gets in on goal. And he's one of those players. He stands at 5 foot 11 inches tall, as I've already mentioned. He seems taller than that. He seems to have a bigger frame in game than that. He feels like an absolute unit when you've got him on the ball. I mean, the fact that he's dribbling and he's... And he's his ball carrying abilities are so good. I think I'll, I'll mainly down to the fact that it feels so strong. I think if you use the left trigger a lot to shield, this guy is going to be absolutely fantastic for you because he holds off defenders for fun. And he's one of those people, especially the way I played him, so many of the goals and assists, he picked the ball up deep in his own half, intercepting or tackling, and just carried the ball up the pitch. And he's got that quality in the final third to make it count, whether it's with a finish on his own or whether it's feeding a, a teammate in for a goal. He's just got a fantastic, fantastic presence about him. Like I say, I think for a central midfielder, he's going to be an absolute monster for anyone that uses him there. And I used him as more of a, a cam, if you like, and he was fantastic for me. But overall, I'm going to be giving Tolisso a 9.8 out of 10. I was so tempted to give him a 10, but like I say, by my own definition, not having the 4-star skills and the 4-star weak foot, I had to mark him down a little bit, but still, 9.8 out of 10. This card is an absolute monster. Highly, highly recommend it. Glad to carry the ball, got an incredible final third with the passing and finishing, incredible, incredibly strong, got great set pieces as well, he's really decent in the air as well, jumping being 99, you can definitely feel, and he's got solid heading as well, currently going for around 350k on Xbox, but I've said this a lot over team of the season, what a card you get for those coins, because he's absolutely the perfect central midfielder, aside from the fact that he's only got the three-star weak foot, but that is going to round up the review, lads, if you did enjoy it, like I said at the start, leave a big thumbs up, and I'll catch you all tomorrow with another video, enjoy the rest of your Monday evening, need you out. 